All right, today we're doing undulations. So we're gonna be articulating through the range of motion of our joints in a sequential fashion, just like you were um, slithering like a snake or any sort of slithering object or whatever you want to imagine you are today. <laughs> but as always, make sure you're able to breathe. Um, today I've got a yoga block. We'll be visiting um, pigeon. And um, if you have hips that are not really open, you might want to grab a yoga block. Also just good to have um, in case we do an undulation that is extreme and you need a yoga block for it. <laughs> Um, always pay attention to your injuries. Make sure you're not re-injuring yourself or creating new injuries for yourself. Um, try not to go outside of what your own personal range of motion is, especially for you hypermobile people. <laughs> pay attention to your joints. Keep them safe. Um, always make sure you're able to breathe and have a good time. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do undulations today. So start on your seated position. I'm directly onto the floor. If you want to sit on a cushion, you can totally do that. Whatever feels comfortable for you. And then let's center ourselves by sitting up tall and taking two deep breaths, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. We're gonna start with movements with our head. So go ahead and tell your chin to just start drawing some shapes. And take it slow and go wherever your chin wants to take your head. You can draw figure eights. You can draw your name in cursive. But try to keep the rest of your body still. Make sure you're breathing. Notice if you're holding tension anywhere else in your body. Try to relax those places and just stir your head and your neck, feeling whatever sensations your neck is giving you at this point in the morning. And then draw one giant circle to the right and left. You can keep your jaw open or closed, whatever feels good for you. When you're done with all of that, return your head back to center. Sit up tall and take a deep breath. And then bring your arms out to the side. Flex your palms, spread your fingers, and we're gonna shrug the shoulders up and then push the palms down at sort of like a diagonal down into the floor. And just breathe. Notice if your rib cage is out, try to like kind of Relax your rib cage in. Sit up tall and start to alternate right and left. Pushing down with your palm. That weird twinge in your fingers is that nerve being stretched. Feels weird. <laughs> and start to bring your arms up and stop the shoulders. And we're going to start circles at the top here, all the way around. Just keep your rib cage from moving. Breathe. Maybe you can spread your fingers a little bit wider. Reverse your circle. <laughs> and then stopping here to the side, hug yourself, switching the arm that's on top each time. Feel free to tell yourself how much you love yourself. Feel free to reach your arms back behind you as much as you can as you come in for the last two hugs here. And then bring your arms back out, hands to a fist with thumbs on the outside. Keep your elbows in line with your shoulders and draw a circle from your elbow down. Breathe. Notice if your rib cage is pooched out. <laughs> Try to keep your rib cage soft. Sitting up tall. Let's reverse these circles. Whew. Breathe. <laughs> This one always reminds me of a trick my dad used to do with this leg, this thing. <laughs> All right, stopping with your arms out, open and close your fists as fast as you can. And then bring one arm up and one arm down and then keep alternating right and left. Keep breathing. And then stopping here, let's split the arms down, take a rest, deep breath. 
We're gonna uncross the legs if they're crossed, recross the other one on top, and then find your sitting up tall position again and float your arms up to the sky. We're gonna shrug the shoulders up and down. While you're doing this, notice if your ribcage is out. Try to soften, breathe. Alternate the shoulders, right and left. Whew, shoulders are alive. And then circle your wrists. Start to float your arms down. Really starting through like you're turning a knob with your hand. And then reverse that knob, floating your arms back up to the sky. And then at the top, bring your fingertips to your shoulders and stir your elbows. Don't move your body. Ribcage is soft. You're breathing. And then reverse your circle. Whew. Excellent. All right, stopping here. Rest. Take a deep breath. All right, still sitting up tall. We're going to have to start undulation now with our hand. So you're going to curl your fingers in, touch your palm with your fingers, and then slide it down, and then like arch it up. So rolling down, <laughs> arching up, and just breathe. Notice if you have any other weird tension things happening in your body as you concentrate on just the hand. All right, we're gonna reverse this undulation. So swan dive down and roll it up. <laughs> Reaching it down, rolling it up, breathe. Let's do two more. Whew. Quite exhausting. Relax the arm, take a deep breath. All right, other hand's turn. So we're gonna fold the fingers in, rolling it down, and then arching it up. Rolling it down, arching it up. Again, just notice anything else happening in your body, maybe your shoulders like this. Try to relax other parts of your body. Rib cage is soft, sitting up tall. Whew. Let's reverse. So now, swan dive forward, rolling it up. Exhale down, inhale it up. Let's do two more. Excellent, and then relax that down, take a rest, deep breath. All right, we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together. Knees fell out to the side, sit up tall and just start a rock right and left. Breathe. And we're gonna turn into a circle, but leading with your chest. So bringing your chest forward and back. Little tiny circles. We haven't really warmed up our hips yet. This is your hip warm up. So don't try to go to your extreme, <laughs> just rolling through a circle. Make sure you're not doing one of these. Keep your chest lifted, reaching your chin to me. Let's reverse these circles. Don't forget to breathe. I am tugging a little bit with my arms, but I'm not going rah. Just a little bit, just to keep my feet from wandering out in front of me. <laughs> All right, let's do two more. And then come to your stop. Bring your hands behind you with palms in towards you, fingers out to the back, and then bring the knees together and open back up. And allow your hips to relax in each position. Just give them a plop. Also breathe. Right, and then we're gonna stop here. Back to butterfly position we go to undulate through our spine. So relax your arms wherever they like to go. Take a deep breath in and lengthen your spine. Like you have a string here and you inhale, lift it up. And then keep that length. You're gonna exhale, just drop the chin into the chest and dive down into your lips slowly, exhaling out all of the air. And then inhale it up as you come up, lifting your chest and chin up to the sky. Shoulders away from the ears, long neck. Exhale, you go back down. Inhale, you go back up. 
Keep going at your own speed. Find your flow, use your breath. Really think of this coming from like your abs. You've got strong abs, your diaphragm's working hard with your breath, and you're undulating through your spine. Keep trying to relax your shoulders away from your ears. One more this way, and we're gonna stop at the top, lifted. Chest and chin up to the sky, shoulders away from the ears. Let's inhale even higher. And then exhale this time, we're gonna swan dive forward. So keep your chin out, chin out, look at me, look at me, look at me until the very last moment. And then chin to chest. And then roll back up, stacking yourself up, tall spine. Inhale, exhale down. Again, find your flow, use your breath. Use all of the inhale to come all the way up. And then exhale out all the air as you come down. Let's do two more. And after your last one, come back up. Bring your hands back behind you, palms in, fingers out. And then bring your legs out wide. And then one at a time, bring the knee toward the midline, right and left. Maybe you squeeze your glute a little bit. Squeeze to press your hip down into the floor. Breathe. All right. Then we're going to come to a pike position. I'm going to turn this way. Feel free to stay the whatever direction you're facing. Okay, first we're gonna start out with the undulation of our feet. So let's get them warmed up first. So sit them up tall. If your legs come close together, squeeze them together and press them down into the floor and just point and flex your toes. <laughs> Notice if your knees like to bend, try to relax. Just use those. Also sit up tall. Whew. Such a workout. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. We're gonna stop here. Taking, I'm gonna start with the left that's closer to you. We're gonna articulate through the joints. So start with your flex. You're gonna to go to the ball of the foot. The toes are still flexed. And then point the toes, and then you're gonna scrunch it all the way back. So, ball, point, scrunch it back. And just roll through it. Try not to bend your knee. If you're having trouble controlling your knee, try to engage this quad muscle. My right leg is just chilling. No need to do anything with that one, but try to still stay up tall. We'll roll through this one more time before we reverse. So now we are <laughs> pulling through. We hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Point and then ball, and then flex. Point, ball, flex. This one's hard. Point, ball, flex. Point. I have to say it. <laughs> Two more. Whew. And then shake that out. Breathe. And now we focus on the right. So still sitting up tall. Start with your flexed. Keep that knee from wandering around and, and then start to go to your point with the toes flexed, then all the way to the point and then scrunch it back. Rolling through, articulating through the joints of your foot. Breathe. If you do get tired, you can totally do one of these, but try not to be like this. Still sitting up tall. One more this way. See if my brain can get this one. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the point, and then flex back just the toes, and then flex. Point, flex, flex. <laughs> ah! Whoo! This one is exhausting. Just breathe. <laughs> Let's do four more of these. Oops, messing it all up. That's okay. <laughs> I 
think I finally got it. One more. <laughs> Whew, all right, let's shake that out. Take a deep breath. All right, now we're gonna undulate through our spine in this position, our pike. So flex your feet toward your face. Glue your legs together if you can, from all the way up from your hips to your ankles if you can, and then glue your legs also to the floor. So engage those quad muscles. On your next inhale, float your arms up by your ears and go tall. On your next exhale, fall forward. Keep your chin out, you're lengthening your spine, and then drop your chin into your chest and roll back up. Inhale, arms shoot up by the ears again. Exhale, you go down. Inhale, you go up. Keep going at your own speed. Again, find your flow. Each time, maybe you reach your hands a little bit further. Maybe you can feel your spine elongating a little bit more before you find that curve. Let's do two more this way. Keep pressing your heels down into the floor, keeping your legs stable. Rib cage is soft. Very <laughs> last one, stop at the top. We're gonna reverse it now. So arms stretch up, inhale. This time, exhale, arms fall down, chin goes into your chest, you roll down. And then arching up, reaching past your toes, but arms stay by the ears, so flat back up. Roll it down. Flat back up. Keep going, using your breath. Remember, long spine, here we go, long. Keep that length, just drop it down, roll it down. Reach past the toes. Legs are glued together. Let's do two more. At your own speed, use your breath. And then stopping here, <laughs> relax, shake out your legs, take two deep breaths. All right, let's come to our hands and knees position. And at this point, we'll need our block handy. So make sure your block is somewhere where you can have it. Place your arms underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Parallel feet behind you, tops of the toes resting onto the floor. We're gonna do our circular cat and cow. So you're gonna drop your belly down, stretch your tailbone up, press your chest forward between your arms and front, pulling shoulders away from the ears, stretching your chin up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, curve around, making a rainbow shape with your body to find our cat pose, belly button to spine, chin into chest, pushing down to go up. Oh, we were gonna circle it. So here, let's take it all the way around. My bad, I got so into it. All right, so flew around in your giant circle, <laughs> visiting your cat and cow that we just did. Don't forget about your head and neck. Also, you don't wanna like splay your rib cage out. You wanna keep your rib cage in, but just kind of stretch those muscles. Make sure that you're centered between your palms and your knees. You're not like shifting forward or back. Whew, let's reverse the circle. You've got hypermobile elbows. Make sure your elbows are not doing that thing. You want to give your elbows soft. Engage your bicep. Protect your joints. Whew, this feels awesome. Let's do two more. All right. And then bring your toes together. Sink your hips onto your heels. And then let's take our child's pose with forehead down. Rest. Take two deep breaths. Use your next exhale to push yourself back to your hands and knees. And take care that you're stacked underneath your joints, fingers spread wide, parallel feet behind you. Let's tuck the toes underneath. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, kick your hips up into the sky, downward dog, and start to lift and lower your heels one at a time, right and left. Shifting your hips side to side. Keep pushing the floor away. Arms are right beside your ears. Breathe. All right, let's lift and lower both heels at the same time. Up and down. Keep reaching your hips up to the sky. Rib cage is soft. Shoulders are strong. Back muscles are active. All right, let's find a stillness here in our downward dog. Take a deep breath. All 
Okay, let's do a little tiny undulation here. So you're gonna rise up onto the toes and pull your belly button deep toward your spine. And then send the undulation through up until your forward arch and then push your hips back. Rip cage and roll. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Use your back. Last one. And you're going to reverse it. So now we're arching here, pushing forward, lift your chin up, and then exhale, belly button to spine, up on the toes, back to downward dog. Here we go. Pull through, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, exhale, round. Keep going. Find your flow. Use your breath. One more of these. Ooh, that is enough. Let's drop our knees to the floor. Tops of the toes rest, bring them together. Sink your hips onto your heels. Press your forehead down, but take your arms down by your side with your palms up. Take two deep breaths. All right, let's roll up through our spine. So keep your chin into your chest, hips stay onto the heels. Roll it up, one vertebrae at a time, undulating up. <sighs> Excellent. And then interlace your fingers. If this kneeling position feels terrible, you can totally sit up like this, but we're just taking a moment with our fingers. Let's reverse the circle. All right, and then shake it out. And then it's back to hands and knees we go. And we're stacked underneath our joints, parallel feet. Let's tuck the toes under, take a deep breath in. Exhale, hips back up into the sky, downward dog, and then take a moment here, enjoying this triangle shape you're making with your body. So reaching your heels to the floor, knees are a little bit soft, we're engaging the quads. Maybe you're stretching your hips up, but belly button your spine, rib cage is soft. Big deep breath. We're going to stretch the right leg up to the sky, straight leg pointed toe. Inhale, reach it higher. On your exhale, pull your knee into your nose. And then while it's there, you're going to externally rotate that leg from the hip and set your knee down in front of your body, finding your pigeon pose. So back leg is straight behind you. We've got our leg in front here. And then if you're like me, you've got a lot of space underneath this hip, you're going to take your block and put it underneath so that you're not just like chilling in a terrible position. So how do you know you're in a good pigeon position? You want to take a look at that back leg. If you can bend your knee and the foot goes toward the sky, then you know that you're parallel. If your back leg is going like that, then you need to come up higher like this so you can get that back leg parallel. Once you've found all that position, bring your fingertips to the front. Squeeze your left glute to press your left hip down into the floor. And then inhale, lift your chest to the sky. On your exhale, swan dive forward. Reaching forward and then drop your chin into your chest and roll back up. Inhale. Exhale, keep squeezing your left glute, pressing your hip down into the floor. Whew, let's do two more of these before we reverse it. Shoulders away from the ears, long neck. Find your flow, use your breath. This last one stops with the top, deep breath in. And then exhale, drops your chin into your chest and down. And then arch up, reaching past your toes, or past your mat. <laughs> Where's your toes? They're behind us. Make sure your toes are pointed. Forgot about that one. Energy out through those feet. <laughs> Let's do two more of these. Keep squeezing your left butt. Press your left hip down into the floor. All right, and then we're going to take a forward bend. So all the way down we go. Make sure you're staying parallel, not like going like off to the side or whatever. Make sure your left hip is squeezing, or like pressing your hip down into the floor. Maybe you relax your forehead down. Take two deep breaths. And 
and slowly walk yourself back up, keeping your chin into your chest. Place your palms back onto the floor. Tuck the toes back or back there with your left leg. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, come back to your downward dog. If you've got a block in the way, shoo it out of the way. And then let's go right into our left leg. So extend your left leg back, straight leg pointed toe, inhale it up. I got a wall. Exhale, knee comes into your nose. While it's there, externally rotate it from the hip and set it down in front of you. Find your back leg position. My left hip is a little bit more open, so I don't need this block, but if you need the block, put it underneath you so that you're not just like, oh my gosh, this feels terrible. And then check out your back leg. Make sure it's parallel. So give a little bend. See that rose me up just a little bit. And not as deep as I thought I was. <laughs> block. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So now we're charging right hip down into the floor by squeezing right glute. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fall forward, leading with your chest. And then drop your chin into your chest and roll back up. Inhale. Exhale down. Keep going. Find your flow. Fill your body up full of air. Ooh, keep squeezing your right glutes. This last one will stop at the top so we can reverse. Deep breath in. And then exhale, chin falls into the chest, you go down. And then arching up, reaching past your mats to come up. I almost said toes again. Challenge yourself. Maybe you don't need your hands. Whoo, last one. <laughs> All right, let's do our forward bend. Inhale. And then exhale, walk yourself forward. Make sure you're going, again, parallel, not off to the side, diagonal, wherever you would maybe go. <laughs> Place your forehead onto the floor if you can. Keep squeezing your right glute, pressing your right hip down into the floor. Point your right foot. Take two deep breaths. And then slowly walk yourself up keeping your chin into your chest until the very last moment. Plant your palms back down into the floor. Tuck the right toes under back there. Extend that leg. Take your deep breath in. Exhale. Back to downward dog we go. That block is in the way. Let's get it out of the way. And then just stay here in your downward dog. Take two deep breaths. Finding again that triangle shape. Rib cage soft. Reaching your hips up. Heels down to the floor. And then finally, placing your knees to the floor. Tops of the toes rest, bring them together, and then sink back into your child's pose. Oh, and we have two minutes left to do a giant undulation. So I wanna do, let's do one, just rest for now. <laughs> I always get carried away. All right, so we're gonna do one giant undulation one way and then we're gonna reverse it. So we're gonna do it all together very slowly, enjoying all of the positions. So first, in your child's pose, your fingertips are like pulling you down to the floor. You're gonna keep your chin out, elbows are gonna come out, connect your chest to the floor. Keep your tailbone lifted. Slither yourself down, 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 slowly. Take your time. While you're there, parallel out your legs. And then once your hips touch the floor, squeeze your butt. Inhale, lift yourself up to the sky, cobra pose. Long neck, shoulders away from the ears, pushing your hips down to go up, 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 up. Once you can't inhale any more air, exhale, bringing your chin into chest, rounding your back, belly button is fine, pushing into your cat pose before coming back to your child's pose. Take a big deep breath in and out here. All right, we're gonna reverse it now, so take a deep breath in. Use your exhale to push yourself up this time through your cat pose. So belly button to spine, chin into chest, pushing yourself forward, parallel legs, all the way, squeezing your butt until your hips come back to the floor. 
And then once that happens, here we are in Cobra. So squeezing your back muscles, pull your chest up to the sky, chin up, long neck, inhale. And then exhale, elongate your body. So all the way down, like you're trying to lay yourself down very, very gently, slowly in slow motion, like you're in the matrix. Once your chin hits the floor, keep it there. Elbows are out. You're gonna slither back, giving yourself rug burn all the way back to your child's pose. So take your time. Breathe. Whoo! Until you find your hips onto your heels, and then you can shake your hips right and left. Relax. Take two deep breaths. And then we're gonna stay here in our child's pose. You can keep your arms outstretched in front if you like, or you can bring them again down by your side with your palms up. But just stay here, breathe into your back. Send a big deep breath, especially to your low back. Maybe you can fill your low back up full of air. Exhale, maybe you pull your belly button deeper toward your spine as you let it go. And as you breathe into your spine, Make sure you also thank yourself and your spine and your breath for all the hard work you just did. And then once you've acknowledged your body for all your hard work, if you feel like you want to lay down, go ahead and lay down on your back. Give yourself a little bit more relaxation. Or if you're ready to roll yourself up, open your eyes. Keep your hips onto your heels, chin into your chest, and slowly roll yourself up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Excellent work. I hope you had fun doing all sorts of undulations. We undulated through our whole body. We didn't get to do our legs. I always get carried away. I had some awesome undulations for our legs, but we'll have to save it for some other time. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys feel really good. Um, I hope you have a lot of energy. Sometimes that happens when you undulate through your spine. Um, also, sometimes it makes you sleepy, so if you are laying down, I hope you enjoy your rest. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. <laughs>